Hello everyone, I'm Rebecca Keppel. In today's video, I am sharing the Trinity Stamps Greatest Friend on Earth release. This release is packed full of stamps, dies, stencils, and they're all so much fun. So I am going to flip through all of them and share some samples that I've created and then use some of them to create a card for you as well. This video is also part of Trinity Stamps release video hop, so be sure to head to the YouTube description box below the video and you'll find a link to the next channel to hop to. But for now, let's dive right into this amazing release. First up is the You Are So Loved Stamps and Dies. This is a three by four stamp set. It has the rainbow with clouds, hearts, a sun, and then the You Are So Loved message. The dies cut out the outline of the rainbow and clouds, also a layerable aspect, and then the loved is layerable as well. And you can cut out the sentiment on its own. This is the Fun Shine Rainbow Stand Alone dies, and you've got the layerable rainbow, a cloud, a sun that you can cut out, a smiley, and a little heart. And I combine the two along with a cloud stencil to create this slimline card. So I used the cloud stencil to cover up some white cardstock, and then I inked blue around it. Then I cut out the rainbow and inked a rainbow of colors. I cut out the cloud and the sun and popped them up as well. Next up is the Balancing Axe Stamps and Coordinating Dies. These cute little characters can balance on the balance beam there, and they can also balance things like a plate and teacups, and I love that you can cut everything out, including the line and the sentiment, so that you don't have to do any masking or anything like that. This is the Good Morning Sunshine two-step stencil set. It's a really fun sunburst pattern that is very easy to layer. I combined it with the Hometown Parade stamps and dies. I love these cute little critters. You could line them up so many different ways, and there are all these little accessories that are included that they can be holding, and I use the dies to cut them out and then some glossy accents on top of the ball and the balloon and the fish bowl to make them shine. This is the Slimline Doodle Garden stamp set. This is the Slimline size stamp this time. And you can see that you have those little smiley faces and sentiments at the bottom. I stamped the stamps set in a yellow ink on top of light yellow cardstock and then stamped the smileys and the sentiment in black ink right on top. Of course, you know I love adding little white gel accents with a gel pen, so I did that as well to the flowers. This is the First Bloom Stamps. It also has dies that cut all of these pieces out. I didn't use the main image this time. I only used the smaller images because I also used the Slimline Embossed Circle Window Panel Die to cut out these circle windows on a card. And then I used the uh, Spring Layering Stencil, which I'll talk about later, to blend some grass. So each of my windows has a little bit of blue sky and then some stenciled grass. And then I have a couple of the images inside the window. And I did pop up that white piece of cardstock so that it was just slightly above the background there. And I love that look. I used a sentiment from that last stamp set that we used. The Abracadabra Stamps and Dies is a fun magic themed set. I love the little assistant getting sawed in half, but I also love the bunny that can be popping out of the top hat. There are coordinating dies. This is the Superstar two piece six by six stencil set. And you can see that I did one stencil in brilliant blue glitter glitz gel and one in silver and then popped up my elements on top. This is the Greatest Friend on Earth stamps and dies are available, and I'm going to use the Slimline Burst Builder die as well. So I love keeping this all together because then I don't have to worry about saving all of these pieces. So I did not snip them apart. You can absolutely snip them apart if you wanted to cut them out of different colors of cardstock. I cut them all out of white and then ink blended them with yellow going into orange to create kind of that that spotlight look and then I have our circus 
person at the bottom with the lion as well, and it says, you're the greatest friend on earth. These are the Le Cirque stamps and dies, and I'm gonna combine them with the That's the Ticket Slimline die, which has two slimline size tickets and then some sentiments that say uh, ticket and admit one with shadows. And then there's a tiny ticket with a couple of stars that you can cut out as well. I love how the tickets have the punched holes all around them. It's just a really nice detail that adds to the look. So I layered a gold ticket on top of black cardstock of a slimline card size and then cut the smaller ticket out of black and then layered the Le Cirque characters on top. The next stamp set is the Once Upon a Mime stamps and dies, and I combined this with the Curtain Call stencil set, which is a three-piece stencil set. So you get the little mask here at the top, and then you get two layers of the uh, like kind of wrinkles in the curtain or folds in the curtain and then the folds at the top as well and then this last stencil here you can see it does kind of the scalloped edge at the bottom so you could absolutely use this to make a slimline card I cut mine down to four and a half by four and a half to create the curtain on an A2 piece of black cardstock because I felt like it gave that kind of mystery to the scene. This is the Circus Bear stamps and dies, and I only have one die in my hand, but there are dies to cut out all the sentiments and the flag as well as the little bear with the poodle on the bike, and I love how the die cuts out the spokes of the wheel as well. I combined it with the Spring Day Scene Builder stencil set. You can see there are some like bushes and trees, and there's grass as well, so it's just a really fun way to create a background for a slim line card with lots of ink blending and scene building. So you can see I created mine with some grass and a little tree and then popped up the bear on the bike. For today's card, I'm gonna share how to use the big top dies. I'm actually gonna create two cards. First, we're gonna start with the big top dies because there are a couple of pieces that may not seem exactly familiar. So you cut out the main piece with one color of cardstock, and then you cut out this triangular rooftop piece with a different color of cardstock. I used white for the tent and then red for these stripes. Then you can see there are all these little pieces of rectangles. The largest ones go on the sides and then you go slightly smaller as you work your way into the middle. The middle one has a very straight top, whereas the other ones have a slightly slanted top. So you can see that they go just in the right place like this. There is a gap between the top and the bottom, and I'll show you exactly what we're gonna do to cover that. To cover that, there is a little scalloped banner that you can place right on the gap between the top and those stripes on the bottom. This is kind of the opening of the curtain, so I cut this out of blue, and you could put the whole thing blue. There are two pieces on the inside, and you could put them two different colors so you can kind of see into the tent, I decided to cut these both out of black so that you couldn't really see what was going on inside. Um, sometimes they do that on purpose so that you can't really see until you pay, right? So I decided to cut out the sentiment that says, you're the greatest friend on earth. I love that Trinity Stamps includes dies for all their sentiments as well as their shapes. Makes it really easy to include those sentiments on cards even if you haven't really necessarily left a spot for for it. So I put some liquid adhesive behind this circus tent because I'm adhering it down to some glitter cardstock. I'm going to draw a straight line from the top of the tent just slightly up and this is for the little flagpole at the top. So I also cut that out of the same blue that I cut the entry curtain out of and then I cut the flag out of the yellow that I cut the scallop out of. I feel like just those couple of colors makes a very striking circus tent. I did cut some gold stars from the uh, You're the Ticket die set and then popped up the sentiment. Like I said, it's really easy to add. 
The other die set that I did want to show you is the center stage die set. Again, there's a lot of pieces, so I just want to show you where everything goes. Obviously, you can use them however you want, but this is the basic idea. So I'm going to cut this piece out of a dark brown cardstock. It's kind of a long piece. This is a slimline die set, and then the floorboard is going to be cut out of craft. I'm going to cut the curtain pieces out of red cardstock again. I love red curtains, right? It's like red velvet curtains just make so much sense. This straight piece, I'll show you, it goes at the top of the curtain. I'm going to cut that out of yellow and the ties to the curtain are going to cut out of yellow. Those other pieces that were out of black, those you're going to see are auditorium seats. So I adhere that little yellow strip to the top of the curtain scallops at the top of the curtain and then I'm adhering the dark brown right on the embossed place. It shows up on the embossed flooring there and you can see exactly where it goes. So your curtain will go right at the top of the card. Don't adhere the very bottom because you're gonna tuck your curtains underneath. So I'm gonna put the ties on first. I'm using tape runner for this. You could use liquid glue if you want as well. And I am gonna put both ties on each side of the curtains. And then I'm just gonna lift up the curtain top a little bit and adhere these curtains right underneath. So a little bit of tape runner, again, don't adhere the bottom because we're going to deal with the floor, right? So everything, I'm just putting adhesive on the tops so that I have room to kind of lift up and then tuck things underneath. And as long as you put a good amount of adhesive at the top, you won't have problems with it falling off. I do like the bottoms of the curtains kind of lifted up a little bit too. It gives them a little bit of motion. So I am going to put the floorboards and the bottom of the floor right down at the bottom of the card. I'm working on a black uh, slimline card base right now because I feel like it gives that look of, you know, the dark stage. These are little heads <laughs> and you can cut them out that you can add hair to them or you can just cut them out of cardstock if you want. I like doing hair with Copic markers because it gives texture. And then these guys are from Le Cirque. So I just colored and cut them out and I popped up the little mouse in the center because I'm going to uh, use the sentiment that says you steal the show and the little mouse is stealing the show. So again, really simple. You just have to know where all the pieces go in order to put it all together and that's why I wanted to share it with you. I hope you loved seeing all of those new stamps, dies, and stencils from Trinity Stamps this month. Don't forget to leave me a comment down below so that you're entered to win their giveaway. The next channel to travel to will be linked in the YouTube description box below this video. As always, I want to thank you so much for spending time with me today. Please stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you again soon.